There's a troubling story out of San Francisco. It's one of the most expensive mistakes in San Francisco. A new twist this evening at San Francisco's infamous sinking and tilting Millennium Tower. There's Millennium Tower. Millennium Tower. It's Millennium Tower. The Millennium Tower. The thing that makes the perimeter pile upgrade unique and remarkable is just the scale and the size of the project. The Millennium Tower weighs 220 million pounds. We had to transfer a significant amount of that, 20 million pounds, off of the existing foundation and onto the new foundation we provided around the perimeter. The technique we used is something called underpinning. It's a proven technique that's done all of the time, but never to this scale. This project is probably 10 times larger in scale than the next largest one. Its objective was simple. Stop the building from settling and tilting, and to the extent possible, recover some tilt. The Millennium Tower opened in 2009 with the vision of being the premier luxury residential building in San Francisco. It was the tallest building to go in San Francisco at the time. It had the best views, the best amenities. You know, just so many eclectic and, and different personalities and people of all walks of life that live here as well. And really it's just run as amazing as anywhere I've ever lived. It's, it's really in a league of its own. Things definitely changed in May of 2016 when we learned of the building's uh, foundation difficulties. And that was alarming to residents when it came to light through some investigation by geotech engineers. Uh, and it led to extensive litigation. And our building's challenges resulted from kind of unforeseen complications stemming from adjacent work done right next to us here, causing the building to settle more than originally predicted. And that caused it to lean, and much to our dismay, we became a national news story. I'll never forget the day I was walking into the building and one of those brown and yellow tour buses came by and said, look, that's the sinking and tilting Millennium Tower. And I thought, oh my gosh, my home is a tourist attraction now. When we think about Millennium Tower, you remember all those headlines about famous luxury tower in San Francisco's leaning. The public perception was, oh my gosh, what is happening here? And inside the residents were like, yeah, they're gonna fix it. We're cool. That's the difference. Upon discovering the issues with the Millennium Tower, we initiated a comprehensive review. We engaged with leading experts in the fields of engineering, construction, and urban planning. Our goal was clear, to find a lasting solution that would restore confidence in the building and ensure the safety of its occupants. Well, when the perimeter pile upgrade project was initially developed, uh, the HOA board interviewed a number of uh, world-class structural engineers. Uh, we chose uh, Ron Hamburger. My name is Ron Hamburger. I'm a structural engineer. I've been doing that for about 50 years now. Uh, I've designed a wide range of things over my career. Offshore petroleum platforms, nuclear power plants, high-rise buildings. And my most recent project is I had the pleasure to serve as the engineer of record for the foundation upgrade for the Millennium Tower. The building fully complied with the building code before we did the foundation upgrade. But the homeowners wanted to improve the building even more, and we did that. We had an innovative design uh, and methodology that minimized disruption to residents, uh, allowed residents to remain in occupation of the building. So the key to this design is that these new piles that were installed extend all the way to bedrock. It was not built originally into bedrock, which was common practice at the time and accepted uh, by the city and uh, almost every building in this area was, was built into the, what was called the Old Bay Clay. So the original building was founded on driven piles, which were uh, supported at a depth of about 80 feet in the Colma sand formation. These new drilled foundations are going to depths of over, of over 200 feet to reach bedrock. Well, the most innovative part of the project to stop the buildings settling and tilting 
was to do this only on two sides of the building rather than all around it. Now I give uh, Ron Hamburger credit for uh, this uh, detail that he came up with in that the new piles that are designed to assist the existing piles, they have built into them limiting restraint so that those piles will only attract a certain share of the load, but not more. The perimeter pile upgrade project is a lot like fixing a flat tire on a car. Basically what I did is I installed a very big bumper jack underneath the corner of the building that was settling most. The bumper jack consisted of 18 24 inch diameter piles filled with concrete and sunk 250 feet down to bedrock. We did this on two sides of the building that were settling the most. Then we tied those new piles into the existing foundation for the structure, jacked load off the existing foundation onto those new piles, then put the sidewalk back and declared success. <laughs> I mean, what was interesting about it was it was such a high profile project. Uh, and there was so much scrutiny on it. It was in the news and it was on the national evening news. And, you know, there's a lot riding on it. So it had, a, it had to work. The perimeter pile project was once in a lifetime. You had the, the sheer scale of the project, the actual construction of it. Then you had the, the dream team engineers that you got to work with. And then on top of that, you had the media scrutiny of, of what was going on inside the project. We lived our lives kind of under a microscope from the outside. Because I think they wanted to see us riled up and scared, but the people who were the most riled up about this were not the residents. And so it, there was a dichotomy of what was going on on the outside compared to what was happening on the inside of the building. To a certain extent, it got to the point where you were out to almost prove everyone wrong. I'm proud to say as of July 2023, the Millennium Towers Foundation has been fully repaired we knew and we had the trust and faith in Ron and his engineering team that what we were doing was right. And, and that's how you tuned out what was going on, on the outside and, and understand that the building is, is fixed. It's still leaning, but it's tilting back the other way. I've been feeling great and satisfied when it comes to the entire PPU project from everything that the building has done to restore our security with respect to the building itself and I have to add, the transparency has been amazing. So throughout the entire process, the ups and the downs, everything's been communicated to us directly. We, there weren't really any secrets. I've never once felt unsafe in the building. And um, even throughout the whole process of repairing the building, I feel like they've done a great job of being transparent about what to expect. So now that it's done, the trees are out, you can walk on the sidewalk, everything is beautiful. It's really great to be able to come home and and see Millennium Tower in its restored glory, but also to know that we don't have anything to worry about when it comes to the lean. You know, although it required an enormous collaborative effort to achieve, the HOA Board of Directors and all 419 homeowners are so glad this chapter's behind us. I think everyone was quite relieved um, with the success of this project in terms of we now have over a year of monitoring of the building. We haven't moved at all. We're structurally into bedrock now. We substantially improved the foundation of the building, both to halt the settlement and tilting, which it has done, uh, and also to improve its earthquake resistance. We actually designed the building's retrofit so that the building would be able to survive the worst shaking likely from an earthquake that has a return period of a thousand years uh, and be repairable. I think that provides great comfort to people who are living here, uh, knowing that we have the safest building now in San Francisco. And still waiting to see those articles come out of how great the project actually succeeded in doing what it was supposed to do. Since the PPU project is finished, in my opinion, Millennium Tower is back. With the successful completion of the perimeter pile upgrade, the building is once again the premier address in San Francisco.